Wallahi. Wallahi. Oh, I say it now? Yeah. yeah. I didn't realize. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. We edited it now. Do I say <laughs> no, it? No, we're leaving that all in. Okay. All that's saying in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome in, her baby. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 we did it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No, no, no you're you good. Did. Listen, I, you're like, I think, one of the only people that have actually said it correctly. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What did they say? They f***ed it up. Yeah. Jordan said. What's up, her babies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jordan f***ed it up. Everyone but you did it correct. Thanks oh, so Okay, much. to another episode of the Arabs <laughs> podcast with my chat GPT. Okay, we have Emma Longevin. I said it right. Yes, yes. You did. Yeah. thank you. Okay, iconic content creator, streamer, internet personality, uh, now fashion, like doing- hey, hey, look like you're reading it more. You know what? Look like you're is reading. Way, it. Is look way, like you're reading it even more. Dude. I'm not even gonna read it because no. it look like you're there reading was no, it. no there was nothing about the the brand. Hey, and look, the, look like you're reading it even more. I though. was adding it. Okay, then keep going. This is good. Now we're freestyling. I know. No. no. So basically, I made sure it. to include that you're literally an icon from New Jersey. Yeah, uh -huh. I was thank do you. That. But yeah. then it included the unofficial icon. I said, "The f do you mean unofficial icon?" Yeah, that was wild. Official. Unofficial. Wow. I think it's official. Uh, yeah, but Gerard Way is also from Jersey, and I feel like he's official. Do you think 9-11 nah. triggered your career as well? Why would that? <laughs> I'm just going to let you know right now, that's not in the notes. I, that, I have no idea I mean, I was. It from. is one of my first <laughs> memories because I was two, and I grew up right outside the city. So it is one of the first things of like, you know, when you're, you have like those little blips where your brain like yeah. activates. Like I remember 9-11. It's one of the first things <laughs> in, in my memory. 9-11 was the thing that triggered your consciousness for the rest of your yeah, life. Yeah, like I think so. It might be my first memory. That's actually kind of dope. We should have done that yeah. in the intro. I wish 9-11 <laughs> was my first in, my first memory. I didn't even know. Why? Why? Huh? Why? I just think it'd be more monumental than... What's your first memory? Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I know. Yeah, okay. I don't have I don't have good recall on my my babiness. I feel like the, my earliest memory I can remember is my mom promised to take me ice skating and she never did. Wow. I'll take you ice skating. I want to go so bad. I don't know how. I, I don't know how to figure it out. It's, it'll be terrible. We can go. <laughs> this is good. This, have, is, this is going to be can, good. We can do it in New York Bryant Park during the winter. They yes. have a big ice skating rink in the middle. Not to get all morbid, but I have mm -hmm. this like fear of like getting my fingers chopped off while ice skating. Like what if I fall and then like so I, and I'm like Ooh. sprawled out like this and then somebody roller skates over them. <laughs> That's it. sick. Though. Well, it'd be crazy because, you know, ice skates is ice skates and I mean, not roller skates. I'm, I'm sorry. Skates. I'm in skates. I'm in skates. That's, in, that's an insane thought. That's, that's not that insane. I can see it. I can feel it. I get Ooh. it. That's not that insane. I can feel. Like can your fear is that I fall on the ice and someone comes by and just slices them open. Yeah, those kids are crazy, dude. Yeah. What, what, what kids? The kids from Mighty Ducks. Yeah. When they do the <laughs> jump and they just land. Yeah. Oh, have you never you. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? I felt that in my arm like I'm having a fucking heart attack. <laughs> I feel like. Uh, I feel like when we we're like. Uh, doing the research, I feel like you don't claim Jersey. You claim not Jersey. Yeah, I claim New York. Yeah, I was gonna say you do it. Yeah, that's the way Raph you do also it. claims New York. I yeah. also claim New York. All of New Jersey hates me too. It's like mutual. Really? Know? Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's why I had to get the fuck out of there. I hate Jersey. I, I considered moving to Jersey City last year. I remember, and I was like, "Girl, don't do it." <laughs> <laughs> I remember you saying that. I'm like, why? <laughs> I just love New York, mm -hmm. but then I was also deciding between LA and New York. Yeah, I mean, clearly I'm here now, but like. Same. I just love the vibe of LA. Yeah. I mean, New York. I mean, yeah. I guess both. Yeah, both. Yeah. <laughs> you, you moved from New York or New Jersey, wherever, New yeah. York, here, and then you moved back and then came back here, yes. right? And now you're here. Now I'm here. Now you're here. This I'm committing to three to five years. Hell yeah. Here? I told myself. What a commitment. Yeah. I know. I don't like doing that, but. How long were you here before you moved back to? I was there for like two years. Okay. Yeah. What made you want to like kind of go back and forth? Because you came from there, you came here. What I really, was that initial thought? I really miss New York. Like that's just my favorite place in the mm -hmm. world where I feel like the most myself. And I just had a rough year that year. So I felt like I was lacking a lot of direction. And then a bunch of crazy shit happened. And I'm like, I got to get out of here. <laughs> and then I like very impulsively <laughs> moved to New York. And then it was a good like year off. But then I was like, all my New York friends like don't live in New York anymore. They've all like moved here or like elsewhere. So then I was like, ah, I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> and then New York's a good place to be alone. Like, I like that. I like the city for that. Mm -hmm. But when I'd gotten so used to, like, L.A., and then my thought process was also like, eh, I'm only young and hot once, and we probably all won't be in L.A. forever. So while I have the opportunity, I might as well stay here when well, everyone's here. Well, in L.A., here. you're young and hot forever until yeah. you die. 
So yeah, I gotta start my <laughs> Botox. I hit twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like milk. I've seen. I'm just waiting for that moment where I need jaw filler. Yeah. It's going to be great for me. I'm debating it. I haven't gotten. <laughs> you should get it. I think it would be a good look yeah, for you. I, I so. haven't gotten Botox yet. My thing is, I have strong eyebrows. So I feel like if I got like jaw filler or something, like I'll just look really masculine. I already have people transvestigating me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people have been doing, people have been getting Botox in their jaw mm -hmm. to like soften. Yeah. For like the massive. But I don't have a yeah. I don't have like the. I don't, I don't grind my teeth and stuff. I don't have that. I, got, I just got soft little jaw. <laughs> yeah. I like the idea that <laughs> you have a strong jaw if you, ha if you have this other bad thing going on with you. Yeah. If you grind your teeth, that's the only reason why you got. Well, that's what it is, right? Like if you get need masseter Botox, usually they grind their teeth. You're grinding and stuff. teeth and you clench your jaw a lot. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they get the big Why jaws. don't I have a jawline, dude? I fucking you got the weakest idea. chin I've ever seen, dude. That's really messed up. It's weak. That's messed up. It's weak, dude. We can rate each other in the room who's the weakest chin. <laughs> 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 the weakest chin. We're going to do like the Reddit. You know how there's like Reddit threads of like, or subreddits where they like rate your face and like pick you apart? Yeah. And like tell you what plastic surgery we need. I've low key debated that because I haven't liked how I look lately. But I'm like, they're just gonna bully me. They're not gonna give me any real criticism. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a friend that like actively posts on that subreddit. To be honest, why? She, she just she wants them to rate her plastic surgery. She just got. Does it look good? It looks really good. Nice. That's insane. Yeah, but I, what I was gonna say is we could do it to each other here. I'm not doing that. Do you guys, I don't know if you had this when you were all youngins, back in the day. <laughs> But when Facebook was like coming out, maybe even my, no, dude, you, you definitely didn't have this. This is like, right. This is right. This is right after you left that age where it was kind of a thing. And it's kind of like in this weird middle space where like I exist here. There's this thing. It was on MySpace or Facebook. It was called uh, Hot or Not, essentially. Yeah, yeah, I remember Hot or Not. Yeah, where you would go on, you would, you would never post your picture. Somebody would post your picture for you without consent. And then the whole internet would just be like, yeah, are they hot or are they not hot? It was a Facebook I, page? It was Facebook. I think it was Facebook. I was sheltered as a child. I made a Facebook when I was like 14. I wasn't allowed to have one. I wasn't on it. That's okay. I, I didn't have Facebook till I was... Why did I have Facebook? Oh, I had Facebook because Rey Mysterio, the wrestler, was on Facebook. And I was like, that's so cool. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> that's yeah. so cool, dude. Really? I was on Twitter when I was 12 years old. I think I was also 12 when I started. Yeah. Maybe 13. Yeah, it was a disaster. What was your first, what was your first social media like that you used? Because mine's like, mine dates the fuck out of me, dude. Well, yeah, it's Napster, dude. We nah, dude, that's not social. <laughs> you didn't know. You was didn't, it MySpace? No. Before no, it was before that. that. Before What's that? before MySpace? Mine was this niche like dress up doll website that had a social media site. Was it Star Doll? No, it was Cartoon Doll Emporium. I, I I've fucking use that shit too. I've yeah, heard of it. it was Cartoon Doll Emporium, <laughs> and it was like it was a bunch of like dress up games for girls, and then they had like kind of like a MySpace social media side where you can like make an avatar. So it was kind of like Gaia Online, and like I was a huge MySpace on Gaia Online. like had like a baby, yeah. and then it was all like really girly, and like yeah, I was on that. God, were you on Stardoll? No, I wasn't on Stardoll. Fucked with Stardoll heavy, <laughs> dude. They had a Ryan Ross dress up. I'll never forget that. <laughs> I think I remember that. Yeah, too. Ryan Ross had Pete Wentz. But it was also like a social media platform. Mm -hmm. And I started like an All American Rejects fan club there. Mm -hmm. Nobody joined it. That's fine though. No, nobody still would. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Listen, you know what's crazy? When I did see them a year ago, I was still the youngest person there. And I'm pushing 30. I saw taking, how old are you? 27. Oh my God. I saw Taking Back Sunday last year, and yeah, I was the youngest person there by a mile. That's definitely <laughs> like an older band. Like, yeah. I, I want to see yeah. Back Sunday. I want Adam Lazard to swing his microphone around my neck. <laughs> they were fun. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> they weren't bad. They were good. I've seen some horrendous performances of them, but they were good when I saw them. The last time I saw them, though, I vowed to never see them again. Why? They performed uh, the album Tidal Wave. Mm -hmm. It's like all acoustic. People dead ass just walked out of the concert. Damn. It was it was just tragic. Ooh, that's, that's sad. sad. The it was entire so bad. wait, the entire show was the acoustic? entire thing was their new album that was an all acoustic album. Bro, that's on them. Like you, the, nobody wants to hear your new, your new music. Everyone knows that. I know. Yeah, Everybody knows. Play that. the classics, but no, no, they played them all at the end, so I'd sit there and wait. Same. I didn't leave. I just stayed. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna see fucking make damn sure whether I like it or not. And too at this fucking point, so. You have a beautiful clothing brand, and somebody missed the memo here. No, I didn't miss the memo. You, you, he got a shirt, and you gave it to him, and I didn't get this shirt. 
And then I walked in and you guys were dressed like this. And I was like, that's cool. Now I'm going to look like a dick. Yeah. <laughs> and you do. <laughs> so it worked. Good. That was the whole purpose of that, to be honest. So uh, tell us a little bit about this clothing company. I know you wanted to start it to kind of get something a little bit more stable, mm -hmm. right? A little bit more maybe fresh. How did you come up with like an idea of like, oh, I want to do clothing. Like that's kind of my vibe. I think it was something I always like thought about like growing up, but I never thought I'd actually ever have the means to do it. Do you think Star Dolls had something yeah. to do with it? Yeah, I just always wanted to get my little emo clothes, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I like when I was like five, I like, used to want to be a fashion designer. But again, mm -hmm. I just never thought that is feasible. So I kind of just like forgot about it. And then I wanted to like find something I could do that like I didn't necessarily have to be the full face of because like. I low key hate being a personality sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I want to have something that could, like I can be creative and like put my art out there, but it's not like all reliant on like me having to be me, yeah. you know? Yeah. So that's how I came up with it. And I realized my friend V had like worked with a bunch of clothing companies and he just kind of knew how to do everything, how to run a business. So I kind of said to him like, Hey, what if we just start a clothing brand? And then we just kind of went from there. That was it. They're fucking sick. Like you don't really you know? genuinely, you don't see like pieces that you release on the market. Thank you. Like I, Whenever he released this, I want to say, was it a few months ago before yeah, the second drop? It was like in like March. Yeah, I was obsessed with it. And before I could buy it, fucking sold out. <laughs> I'm glad I have it now. I'm glad um, I got to get you one. I lost my paper. Here. Thank you. <laughs> no, I mean like the design, like it's like definitely like the iconic emo style. And it's definitely like, it's crazy that it's like back. Yeah. Like it like went away. Like, cause I remember like that shit was like dope. And then all of a sudden it's like, it went dormant for like a couple of, you were like, oh, I was always in the scene, but I'm like, yeah, same. you know, cause it's like, I used to shop at Hot Topic. I worked at Hot Topic mm -hmm. and all the fucking shit they had were just like skull dresses. There's nothing really like, yeah, there was nothing cute cutesy, for like a while. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like nowadays, like you see like Ed Hardy making a comeback yeah. for like the emo girlies. Um, and like, there's so many more brands popping up nowadays that like, yeah, like have, lip like, service yeah. is back. All the all the OGs. It has, like, the cute, cute like alternative look. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was like thinking, I was like, what clothing brands? Like, what are like brands you have like dream collabs with? Because I have two in mind that I would want you to collab with. Okay, probably number one would be Betsy Johnson. Oh fuck yeah, family because company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be tight. I love Betsy Johnson. <laughs> no, I love Betsy Johnson because she's just like in like cute punk stuff. Definitely when like we can move beyond streetwear, I'd like probably be have a lot of heavily inspired stuff from her. Um, but streetwear is just the easiest thing to make on a budget. So that's why it's gonna be lots of t shirts and hoodies for now. Yeah. Yeah. I so I, I listed two. So my dream collabs for you, mm -hmm. Drop Dead. Ollie Sykes. Drop Dead would be sick. And uh P is like re upping clandestine oh, industries. Really? Yeah. So he did, he's been doing limited runs. Mm -hmm. uh, I know he has a few shirts in Hot Topic, mm -hmm. but like he's releasing stuff on his website. So I'm like, if Emma collabed with P, I'd shit myself and die. I would also probably die. That'd, that'd be, be the crazy. That'd be the coolest fucking thing ever. And I feel like it could work. I feel like it could genuinely happen. I feel like that. Obviously, Gerard would be my guy, though, because especially his original artwork, if I could have that like on something or if I could like, buy a design from him, crazy. I think it could happen. I think so. Manifesting. Gerard Way, please. Gerard, please. I'll be so normal. Please. Gerard is an avid listener of this podcast. Yeah, we know he, he loves yeah. A-Rab's podcast. Loves this. Yeah. He loves this. He talks about it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> he's always commenting. Just we're like, hey, day, dude. He's just mm -hmm. like, hey. We're like, chill, dude. Stop commenting. Would love to collab <laughs> with Emma someday. <laughs> well, you know what's crazy? People have been talking about Gerard on TikTok lately because they they found like the Lindsay lore about yeah, how she's that always, a, a that always bad person. Yeah, that always like every couple months. I'll see a bunch of people dunking on her. Lindsay's his wife. Okay. And, um... I don't really, I'm not, I don't really remember the lore, but she's in this band called Mindless Self Indulgence. And mm -hmm. the lead singer, Jimmy Yurin, mm -hmm. is a really bad person. Yeah. Why, very very why? questionable fellow. I think he, I don't know exactly. It was some weird stuff involving children. <laughs> okay. Isn't it always? Well, yeah. 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 Zoom in on I don't face. remember exactly <laughs> what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what it was, so I don't want to like misspeak. Yeah. But like it was mm -hmm. something involving children. And then also, I think he just said a bunch of slurs. Why is it always kids and then slurs? <laughs> it's always kids and slurs, man. It's always kids and slurs. <laughs> it's it's like, hey, dude, I did the, the really bad thing. Also, I just said a bunch of slurs just to top it off. <laughs> I mean, they said slurs in their music. Yeah. I was mindless self-indulgent. They have a song that just called the F slur. Yeah. 
Am I the self indulgence was a guilty pleasure of mine? Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying. Gonna lie. Same. The bitches that make us another act fuck. And high school, I used to listen to them so often. Don't look at me. Get like it that up bitch. as like a ten year old. Like, I was like, yeah, I can't get it up. <laughs> <laughs> Had no idea. But yeah, people I can't. They're like, I hope Gerard and his kid are okay. I'm like, for sure. Uh, I'm sure they're fine. Yeah, this shit like he's it resurfaces every fucking year. Yeah. Um. That's so fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> Just to name a song, the F slur, it's just in my head. Their music is unhinged. Like, where'd you come up with that? It's like, I don't know, man. I, I take inspiration from London, everywhere. Dude. It's yeah. a good song. Yeah. yeah, I was walking down the street and I heard I heard this word I'd never heard before, you know? <laughs> it's it's like those bands that are, it's the guilty pleasure bands I have mm -hmm. that I actively listen to now, 303. Why the guilty pleasure? They're awesome. Because I, I feel shy listening to them, to be honest. If I will, like, put on, like, I'm not your boyfriend, baby, like, at any second. Like, I just need that song. <laughs> My most traumatic memory I have from Warp Tour mm -hmm. is I was looking forward to 303 and this stupid fucking bitch crowd surfed and broke her neck and their set got cut short. And all I wanted to see was Colorado Sunrise. That's all yeah. I wanted. You never <laughs> got to see it? Uh, so I saw, ended up seeing it. Just because someone broke their neck. That's not very She's a stupid. Like, listen, dude. all I'm saying is when you crowd surf, you have to be self aware. I would never crowd surf. Well, how self-aware can you be when you're at the mercy of any, everyone else? If you know you're heavy, why the fuck are you crowd surfing? Oh, Jesus True. Christ, bro. What? No, she's absolutely right. D I, I can crowd surf. You I personally, can I hate surf. all crap. You're, you're a good man. <laughs> you're good. You're coughing here. You're fine. Sorry. No, you're good, dude. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. We don't care. But we, dude, you're good. Get it all out, you're good. man. We dude, we, we literally this fight guy, with this guy's just <laughs> ripping it in the back it. over here. I want to be able to. I know I'm being. I personally, I hate all crowd surfers. Me too. Oh, I, I hate. Oh my god, hot is taken this scene. People get so mad when you say it. <laughs> Once I've been tweeting about crowd surfing and people are like just quote retweeting pictures of themselves Same. crowd surfing. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. No, anytime I've dunked on crowd surfing or mentioning Warp Tour wasn't that fucking good. Man, millennials get so mad. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry I wasn't there in 2006. six. I'm sure you guys were having the time of your lives doing ketamine on God knows who's fucking bus. It wasn't that time. Ketamine didn't there. exist back then Yeah, it didn't then exist. We, we didn't <laughs> have ketamine. Didn't exist back ketamine then didn't exist. It, it, didn't, ketamine, it wasn't cool. Ketamine's a now thing. It's a dude. now thing. Ketamine it was, was like, weed. you're taking horse tranquilizers? Yeah, What's going on? If you did weed, it was like- you Everyone were, was on ecstasy and-, and yeah. And crack, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crack, crack was tight. Crack was in. <laughs> crack then. was cool. Crack was really cool. I was at 2006 then. War Tour. <laughs> Shit sucked, dude. <laughs> I got in a fight with <laughs> Shane West. <laughs> Where's the guy? Who? He, okay. The dude who did A Walk to Remember was literally the lead singer of. He took over for like one of my favorite bands, which was The Germs. Turns out they were racist. Didn't know that, but it's okay. I figured Not that out. Not surprised coming kid. from you. Anyway, no. I didn't like the racist parts. Anyways, so so he took over because he made a movie. It's the dude from Walk to Remember who dies. Remember the Jessica Alba movie? Remember that movie? I don't know shit about movies. I know you don't know anything. You know Walk to Remember? Vaguely, I do. I it's don't watch a, movies. It's like a direct-to-DVD movie. Anyways, the dude made another movie with a fucking... With, to be, he was going to be the lead singer of a band in a movie, and then fucking it got all in his brain rot, and then he became the lead singer of the actual band. And then went on tour with them and then acted like the singer and like chipped his tooth on purpose to be the dude who died. It's Did fucking it crazy. Oh. Did it work? No, dude. Do you Did know who go, he is? Did people go see it? <laughs> I was there. Yeah, there was so like 20 of us. Seems like it worked to me. Yeah. Whenever you tweet about crowd surfing on Twitter, the people act like you killed your other mother. Yeah. They're like, you just don't want people to have fun. Yeah. And like you're not really part of the culture. <laughs> yeah. like, they're like, if you don't want to deal with crowd surfers, just why don't you stay in the back? And I was like, tell me why I have to sacrifice my concert experience for the five same fucking people that re repeatedly do it over and over and over again. Yeah. So I'm five two. That shit hurts. You know? <laughs> oh, I can't see all. I already cannot see a goddamn you're like, thing. You're like this. You're I like, will no. not know someone's coming. I like, I can only see everybody's sweaty backs. Exactly. <laughs> and then the thing is, what set me off is I was at an all time low concert in 2015, mm -hmm. and my favorite song at the time was Old Scars, Future Hearts. Mm -hmm. And I was I was getting ready for the the bridge. Some bitch kicked me in the head, and my glasses flew off my head. And I was like, I can't even see shit right now. For my favorite fucking song. And that was my my radicalizing moment. 
That was me when I saw Neck Deep and they played a part of me. And for some reason, every Why? single person in the crowd decided to crowd surf <laughs> to a part of me. Why? I don't know. And like, I literally, because I like, couldn't move, like the whole crowd was moving and stuff. My worst show, though, I talked about, I've talked about it before, was when I saw The Wonder Years. Oh. It was, yeah. Well, Modern Baseball is opening for them. Okay. So I went from Modern Baseball, Citizen, and Real Friends were opening, mm -hmm. and this band called Fireworks. So I was going for them. Um, but that was the roughest crowd. There was this, again, crowd surfer girl who like fell and I just heard her head hit the fucking floor and they had to stop the whole show and like fireworks is set because like, and she'd be taken out like in a gurney and shit. It was crazy. Oh my God. It was really bad. I, I hope she's okay. And then we, and then during the wonder years, like it was one of those concerts where like the entire crowd is moving. Like there's no safe space. So I just like got like sucked back into a pit and I fell and I got trampled and I felt like Mufasa in The Lion King. <laughs> you know, when he gets thrown and scars yes. like long live the king and throws him to the wildebeest. Except I was just there with like my ex and then he just dropped me on accident. And like, I just fell and I was getting trampled and I don't remember anything. I just remember like screaming, oh my God. people stepping on me. I was wearing like high top Converse, lost both my shoes. <laughs> and like, I was just Jesus. all bruised and like banged up. And then I went to go sit on the stairs and this venue security's like, you can't sit there. And I'm like fighting for my life. Like I lost my phone. I lost like everything I had on me. That's insane. It was the roughest crowd I've ever been to. And I was saying that like, I'm sure you can relate like metal shows, that shit's not gonna happen. The second they even, if you go down to tie your shoe, people pull you up because they're like, yeah. don't fall. I'm like, no, I'm just tying my shoe, man. I'm good. hundred percent. You know, a pop punk, they don't care about their lives. They don't care mm -hmm. about their mom, their dad, their grandma, their hamster. Like they will just fucking kill you. Yeah. Like pop punk kids don't give a fuck about anything. They have no crowd etiquette. Like I would just get fucking beat up at those shows. My worst, so I have two bad concerts. Mm -hmm. My worst one ever was my first general admission concert at, um, it was my first one at an arena. Mm -hmm. Ball Boy, Panka Disco, 21 Pilots. Mm. I was supposed to be front row, but my ticket scanner stopped working. So I was like mid crowd. Everybody around me was like six fucking foot for some reason. Mm -hmm. And then they fought my mom and like they pulled her hair so hard to the point where like she was like staring at the ceiling. And like Brendan literally created a path, made people make a path so she could leave. Um, second one, Sick New World. Mm. I got my shit rocked. This year? Yes. Yeah, I remember you telling me someone pulled off your scarf. Like, my scarf was falling off. I got shoved to the ground, and he, like, pulled me up right away. I accepted my fucking death at that point. As soon as I fell backwards, I'm like, I'm dead. I'm like, it's over. I'm gonna fucking die. Damn, during what? Uh, what Bring me the horizon. Oh, really? I remember no song from that set at all. Oh, have you seen them before? Yeah. Yeah, I saw them for Fall, for fall Boy last year. Okay. Yeah. But I was just like, fuck you, like... I was fighting for my goddamn life. Damn, that's insane. I yeah. was standing up to, more towards like side stage, so it wasn't as crazy over there. It's crazy because like system of a down set wasn't even that bad. No, that was chill. That was. Chill. I think you're right about metal shows. Well, like, everyone metal was shows exhausted like, at that point, especially yeah. after the Bring Me the Horizon set, and then the Slipknot set out, like right after that. Slipknot everyone was like <laughs> exhausted. I, I had like I mentally blacked out during the Slipknot set. Same. I like dissociated. I was just like I can't. I need to like mentally prepare for the bullshit that we're probably going to endure during system. But like it was chill. It was very chill. Yeah, we just had one uh, one very drunk <sighs> woman come up. She had a hat on and then she's like, can you get me to the front? And the guy next to us is like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. My friends are up there. He's like, no, they're not. <laughs> yeah, We I all know. Like, figure yeah, it out. Trick. I was like, good for you, dude. <laughs> I found though, like going to concerts, I just naturally gravitate to the front. Even if I like show up at doors, I, I feel like I can make get front row no matter what. No, no, you you push your way to the front. I've been with you at the concert. I don't push. I say, excuse me. <laughs> they move. Yeah. If I go, excuse me, and you move out of the way, that's on you. Yeah. You're the weakest soldier. <laughs> now, if you tell me, excuse me. Yeah, she doesn't move. I look at you. I'm like, no. She's a brick wall. Really? I'm yeah, like, she's yeah. a brick wall. Broken did the excuse me all the way to a concert. And then just like someone's like, can I get through? And you're like. No, I stand my fucking ground. I worked hard to get here. You're not doing my trick to me. <laughs> I guess when I'm all the way at the front, yeah, I guess any other point, like, I don't care. But if I'm, like, in a good spot in the front, then, yeah, I'll hold my ground, I guess. One time somebody was like, can I get in front of you? You're tall. And I was like, honey, I'm not that tall. I got here. I, can't, I used to camp the fuck out for concerts. Yeah. I used to go there at 8 o'clock in the morning and sit on the sidewalk until 6 p.m. And then I was like, yeah. By that time, I was exhausted. I'm like, you're not going in front of me, stupid bitch. <laughs> I, concerts, I haven't been in one in so long. 
I feel like I'm like dying. Is that like your go-to for concerts? Do you like you generally gravitate towards the side or do you like being at the rails if you can? If I can get there, I will. I think a lot of times like I'm with friends who aren't used to concerts. So mm. then like they don't want to go in the pit. I'm like, fine. You know? <laughs> but like I also I like going to shows alone a lot. Like I would mm. go to concerts alone by myself, like all the time, like growing up and stuff, because if nobody else wanted to see them, I'm like, well, I don't want to miss out. So <laughs> I hate going to concerts alone. Oh my god, I saw my chemical romance by myself during their tour in New Jersey and like not like everybody in the pit knew who I was, but like a lot of people in the pit knew who I was. And I'm sitting there like, I'm like, you'll like people would be like, I don't think you look autistic. Catch me at the My Chemical Romance show, bitch. Catch me at the My Chemical Romance show and you will like never see me the same again. I've had people like, like when I post videos of me dancing at emo night, people be like, Emma's on heroin. I'm like, no, I'm just really fucking autistic right now and I can't dance. And I just, I, I just look like I'm on every drug on the planet, but I just, I'm really autistic and I can't dance and I love music so much and I'm having a good time. Well, that brings us to our next segment. Emma, please yeah. get up and dance. You've DJed Emo Night, right? Yeah, three how was, times. How was that? I'm like a fake DJ, so like I make my little playlist and I like skew the next song and then I pretend <laughs> I like, but I look really hot on Instagram. So you no, know. that's that's called being that's, a real th- DJ. That's, DJ. Yeah. that's called yeah. being a real DJ. Yeah. People who ask Someone's about DJ brother the here just paid two thousand oh dollars for dude. lessons on how to DJ. My Here's brother. the thing: I do know what some of the buttons do, but I get scared to press them live because <laughs> <laughs> I'm too scared of fucking up. Yeah. So, like, I don't try to ever mix live or press anything because I'm too scared to, like, fuck it up. When I was younger and and I was, like, young DJing, I did the same. I was like, I am going to mm-hmm. pretend like I'm doing everything, but mm-hmm. I pre-recorded everything that I'm doing yeah. for this If you ever thing. see a photo of me with the hands on the thing, fake. <laughs> like, I just see the photographer come over and I'm just like, hold on, let me get a good Instagram photo. And I, like, put my hand on the knob. I'm not turning it. <laughs> like, like I'm this. not turning. Yeah, I'm just like. It's like a Fisher Price DJ set. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's not Check even plugged. Check Emma's it's Instagram like, and find those pictures and you're going to be like, ah, yeah. It's like yeah. my phone plugged in the corner. Like, it's not even on. Like, Did you ask her? Put it up. Put the picture up. Dude, I, I used to, dude, yeah. I used to DJ the Arabic parties. That was the worst experience of my whole life. You just play a song, then the old Arabic lady comes up to you and she's like, change the music. I'm it's like, not good. It's like, not good. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that. She's like, play this song. I'm like, okay, in a little bit. She's like, you didn't play it. <laughs> I'm like, dude, what? Like, fuck off. Wasn't worth it. I was like 18. It was like for a couple hundred bucks, but it was sick. My life goal is to DJ emo night. You can definitely get in. You think so? I don't think they'll let me back, so maybe we can get you in and stuff. <laughs> Why would you do? Wait, what'd you do? That's a long story. I can't get into it now. No, let's get into no, it. Wait, I, I can't. Know. I want to, but I can't. Okay. okay. I, I see people DJ. I'm like, fuck. Like, I feel like I could make a good playlist. Mine's mine's awesome. I get compliments on it. I'll go to other shows. People come up, be like, your emo night set. I'm like, oh my God, thanks. Yes. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I love your playlist. And you're like, did you like when I scratched? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. when my friend accidentally hit the fucking mute button three times and I froze because I got scared. <laughs> did that actually happen? Yes. <laughs> Both times or just one of the times? Yeah, the last time, the third time. <laughs> like we meet at this at like three times on accident. Just- and then I'm just standing there and then I just see everybody's eyeballs in the fucking room. And I'm like, <laughs> no one's moving and anymore. I, I'm just you know, like literally, literally deer in headlights. I'm just like. It's like, you should just you should just see the remix. <laughs> One time I tried to talk on the mic my first time and my voice cracked and I never picked up the mic again. <laughs> I tried to be like I put on Paramore and I was gonna be like Let's go lesbians and I was like Let's go lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the most embarrassing thing when you have a microphone and you stutter or you yeah. your voice cracks. Yeah, like I like I was exempt from public speaking in high school. Like I cannot talk on a stage, but I was trying to be like a real DJ and it was not a vibe. I never picked up that goddamn no introduction. I just walk on stage, press play, and hope for the best. And I just dance my little heart out. Everyone in the audience is like, wow, they're so cool. Yeah. They didn't even say they didn't even acknowledge it. They didn't even this say anything. Awesome. Yeah. Walk on with like sunglasses. And- yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like for like emo, like it's like the dream is like to work at Hot Topic, Mm -hmm. but I feel like being an emo night DJ. No, that was like one of my goals in LA. Like that was one of my priority things as an influencer. I'm like, I want to DJ emo night. I'm adding it to mine. Yeah. Uh, So you, so you DJ emo night twice. Well, three times. Three times. Sorry. I'm sorry. I diminished your goal. Everything. I'm so sorry. You're fucking this up. I'm fucking this up. I forgive you. (laughs) Thank you. That means so much. Um, Were there other goals that you had as a content creator back when you were 
streaming as much as you were and kind of on the internet space? Um, like, were there any goals similar to like DJing emo night that you had while you were here in LA or even when you, when you were back in New York that you accomplished that you maybe feel here's, super proud of or something that you're like looking forward to? Possibly? Here's my thing. I kind of went viral overnight. So like I was planning, like I still have like my journals where I was like, I'm going to hit 100K by the end of the year on like everything. And I mm -hmm. had my notes and my plan for the year. And then I hit everything in a day because <laughs> I went viral. And then I was like, I didn't get this far. And I feel like that's why I've done a lot of nothing because I'm like, I wasn't aiming for all this. And now I don't know what to do because <laughs> I just want to be like a small niche little guy. Mm -hmm. And then it got ahead of me. And then I didn't know what to do with all of it because I didn't even get to accumulate it or even build a fan base because it happened out in one day. Mm -hmm. So I had like no audience or anything. I don't have like core people. Like right. really, it's very like, so I'm like, I don't know. Um, I will say, I mean, I was just kind of, to be honest, I just want to be internet famous because I wanted friends. <laughs> 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 like I, I just wanted to be, I just wanted to be friends because like I would see all these content creators and like I would say like all my parasocial relationships worked out for me because every <laughs> person, That's every insane. person I grew up with where I was like, I want, I feel like they would be my bestie, like ended up being a really good friend of mine. <laughs> And I know that's really bad to say because I have a bunch of stalkers and people. I'm like married to like five different people at this point. There's hope for you all. Yeah. <laughs> no. Keep, no. keep stalking. No. You got it. You good. No. Keep no, it going. No, 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 no. no, no, no that's no. what Emma's saying right now. I got 200 like schizophrenic <laughs> emails like literally last night from this guy who was like transvestigating me. And I'm like, oh I would God. just tell y'all. I really don't care. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a lot. I have a lot of stalkers. That's a story for another day. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so that was the other thing. I'm like, I wanted friends and I did become friends with everybody that I thought I would be friends with, which is cool, you know? It's really weird because like, I feel like becoming like a content creator and being in the space in LA, it's like you see people that like used to watch growing up and then mm -hmm. like now you're talking to them. And you're just like, oh, like yeah. this is so weird. I didn't expect to be in this timeline. Yeah. Like, like the first time I met Anthony Padilla, I was like a third person, like astral projecting out of my body. I was like, how I'm like, I'm like, how are we hanging out right now? Like, why am I in Anthony Padilla's house? <laughs> love him. Sorry to name drop you. I love Anthony. No, he's such a sweet little angel. I love him. Whenever I, I did, I do like producer stuff for Hassan sometimes. Mm -hmm. And Anthony was on Chad Weiss, like an mm -hmm. advice show Hassan does. Mm -hmm. I literally shit myself talking to Anthony. I got so fucking nervous. No, he's so wonderful. I'm like. I used to play Jackbox with him and his girl and his girlfriend and everybody. And like we had like the same sense of humor because he like made my sense of humor. So like nobody would be voting for our jokes, but we'd always be voting for each other, like on <laughs> Quiplash and stuff, because we just got it. And I'm like, I love him. We had that solidarity. It was so cute. <laughs> so I have a picture staring at me here. Oh no. Brendan Yuri. You know, for the emos, Brendan Yuri went MIA last year. For the people that aren't Did he? Wasn't he just on Broadway? Or was that like three years ago? That was like 2018. Yikes, I saw that. Dude. You went to Kinky Boots? I went to Kinky Boots with Brendan Urie. I did. How was it? Honestly, it was good. Yeah. I'm not like a Broadway guy. Like, I'm not a theater kid at mm -hmm. all. So, but I enjoyed it. I cried. I think that's the goal of Kinky Boots. Yeah, I cried. Make you cry. I didn't know it was going to be gay. Lo so I was like sobbing. Cry, yeah. yeah. I didn't know it was going to be <laughs> queer. So he announced the end of Panic at the Disco last year. Even though right. it genuinely should have ended like, 10 years ago at this yeah, point. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, but the other day, pictures of him resurfaced for the first time in a year, <laughs> and they're fucking insane. I printed them out. No, I love them. The little black and white mug shots <laughs> you have printed out here. This, the one over here looks like Tom Selleck. Who is this? Is this him? That's him. Oh, my god! The mustache is crazy. The side profile on him is just... Like that, that look does not look like him the at cap all. on his mustache is insane. Is. The crazy thing is, so basically he went MIA off the internet after his he, security guard got accused of being a freak. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Was it Zach Cloudhall? Oh, yeah, not surprised. He was, he was, <laughs> Zach was so mean. Yeah, I know. I just remember him beefing with like the fucking like 16 year old fans on Twitter. You know what he used to do? You know what he did to me one time? It was the meanest fucking thing I've, like, I've ever experienced. Mm -hmm. So it was 2013. I was like, I want to meet Brendan. I want to meet Panic. He was mm -hmm. like, okay, come with me. They're sound checking. He literally took me all the way to the door. Let me look in. He's like, get the fuck back in line. Oh my God. For what <laughs> reason? How old were you? I was 16. 
mean? For what reason? <laughs> he like opened the door. He's like, get the fuck back in line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, well, I'm like, why'd you just do this to me? That's so mean. Because he was doing security for Fall Boy. I was about to meet, I was at, at Fall Boy meet and greet. Mm-hmm. And like Panic was like sound checking right next to it. But yeah. I'm looking at this and I, I can see why he stayed away for a year. But I mean, he, look at that. He's a dad Like, now. what is this? He's had <laughs> what is that forehead, crazy. dude? And, uh, but he's had he can a, land a plane he's on got that like forehead. He's a cone head, though, because your head has to be <laughs> yeah, so long. Does. You know, because it's still not like, it's still not like curving. Yeah. You know, like, it's still it's not at the up. top. So, like, he still so much more head. <laughs> There's so much scalp that is still covered. Like, he still has a pretty full head of hair, even with that hairline. It's just like, he's always had a really fucked up hairline yeah but that's but it keeps going it's and it's, it's, still, it's still not reaching the curve yeah, it's insane so he looks like the like notes. have you seen this man like in your dreams like the like creepy pasta drawing you know <laughs> <laughs> like he looks like one of those he's part of that cinematic universe brendan neary my personal hat man yeah <laughs> brendan neary with a big forehead can't hurt you but yeah. he can and he's just singing high hopes Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Can I say something cringe? The first song I listened to when I moved to LA, mm-hmm. when I when I drove off. So when I first moved here, my fucking car battery died. It was the worst shit ever. Oh, that's ass. So um, after that got sorted, I listened to um, LA Devotee. I was like, I f- it feels right. Mine was freaking out on the interstate. <laughs> I remember well because Ursus picked me up from the airport, and that song got it like played like as soon as we got in the car, and it's such like a pivotal moment in my brain. I was like, wow. <laughs> like it was so deep in my brain. <laughs> the other deep thing is there was like a double rainbow that day too, and I was like, you know what? This is the right move. Yeah. This is surely... LA really does feel like hopes and dreams when you first get here. Yeah. Like it is always so magical. Yeah. And then it sucks the life out of you and you become really depressed. <laughs> it does, but then I'm so back. I know. <laughs> you, but you, but you like bounce back. Then you spend a year in New York being crazy and then you're like, I'm good. I'm good. I, I like... had to go toughen up again because then I because I got too nice here and I'm like, I gotta I gotta toughen the, up. The grit. Yeah. So speaking of band people, um, people have been talking about Kellen Quinn. Um, I hate him. We hate him. We hate him. We hate but, him. But uh, people are debating whether or not he's had plastic surgery because he he's looking very pillow facey. Like I'm gonna show you. A before. I say, do we have do we have a photo? Yes. Because I haven't. I've seen people talk about this on TikTok. I've not seen what he actually looks like that has sparked this discussion. He looks insane. Like even I'm like, what the fuck? And people are like. Don't you realize that's just aging? And I'm like, I don't think that's fucking. So, like, age. what happened, like Zac Efron? I don't think you age. Yes! I don't think you okay. age out. You age Zac, down. Right? Zac Efron said he got in a car accident, right? That was yeah. He said he got like a jaw surgery. Got, I think that's him right now. This is him before. Okay, he looks like a normal person. I want to go. He looks, like he looks like a human being. <laughs> What's he look like now? She's looking. Jesus, dude. Sorry, <laughs> I had to go st- talk to Miles, dude. Wait, that's an old photo. Hey, hold on. I, can't, I can't tell. He just looks old. Is he LA old though? Because that means he definitely has plastic surgery. Yeah. Is LA old a thing? <laughs> yeah, he kind of looks LA like Keanu old. Reeves. Here you go. <laughs> looks like Keanu Reeves. He looks like great. he's wearing his face on his face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like he pulled off his face, dried it out, and then put it back on. <laughs> Telling Quinn's oh, rookie face. Oh, wait. Are his eyebrows filled in or something? I think so. But his cheeks are so, like, filled. No, I'm just like, it doesn't even look like him anymore. People, like, fill their stuff so they get rid of the wrinkles, right? But he looks too smooth. No, that doesn't like that's yes. not Kellen Quinn. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks, man. That's pretty. That's pretty much it. Thanks, dude. I didn't know. Yeah, he definitely had plastic surgery. Looks like he had a chin. Something yeah. with his chin. He's had some Botox filler. It's some, something. I want to see. I want to see. Chin, because his chin is different. His chin's totally different. Or he's eating something. We don't know. He just doesn't Can't tell look. these he, dudes sometimes. I don't, like, it's not aging. It's not aging change. Oh, my God. It's, it's still with it's his baby filler. mama. It's filler. Hmm? Is he still with his baby mama? I don't know, but I saw an interview. He was doing an interview with his kid, and his kid like talked about the guy's lazy eye in the interview. Like, I the, saw that clip of Copeland. <laughs> the interviewer had a what lazy the fuck? eye. So fire. She was like, say you... some shit. Yeah, That's she was like, so she was like, how fire. are you doing that with your eye? <laughs> That's she that said she apologized. So she, then she said I'm sorry right after. It was really cute though. I felt bad. She didn't realize. That's so fire. I went down a rabbit hole the other day of like uh kid funny videos on like YouTube and That's, it was like okay, a clip. <laughs> okay, not yeah, like that. Okay, not like fucking weirdo. Dude. But like one of the kids was like, I was like dying because one of the kids was like, 
the, the mom asks the dad, like, am I fat? And then and then dad's like, of course you're not. And the kid's like, no, you are fat, mom. And I'm like, god damn, dude. I don't want kids Kids like have not read it. You ask a kid how they <laughs> yeah. think you look. And that's how you'll get the real answer. A hundred percent. Yeah. Just go on Dress to Impress. You'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> dude, okay. Dress to Impress. Have you played it? Oh, yeah, of course. I fucking love that game. It's so good. We have to play. He cheats. I do not cheat. Just because I dress up as Martin Luther King does not mean I cheat, dude. That's pretty smart. That's smart. I win every time. So he, we did history. Just because I go on there and I type in the chat, I'm sorry, I'm gay, well, we and I get the... podium all the time, does not mean I cheat, dude. He's like, please vote for me. I'm gay, and like you said something else. I, <laughs> I say something really bad. He, he like I, I When I got the police or thief theme, I dressed up as Kamala. <laughs> The one that had me fucking crying. We got historical figures. Yeah. And he did uh, Martin Luther King. And then I did one where he used like, the flower hat as like blood, like a head getting exploded, but I can't remember who it was. It was Abraham Lincoln. It was, Abraham, oh. like, it was the funniest was fucking Abraham thing. Lincoln. I cried. JFK would be a good one. You could put that, add that to the roster. Add yeah. that to the roster. If I could do voice chat, I would just do I would just do his voice too. It'd be we great. We can. They added there voice chat. They added voice chat. I do not want that. There is voice chat. <laughs> we do not no. need that. We do not need I that. I want to play. No one's ever invited me. We, we invite you all the time, dude. You just don't have the attention span for it or the fashion sense, to be honest. I can be do it I, digitally to impress. No. Okay. So we found, so there's a new thing going around. I don't even know how new it is, but it's like on the rise it's called character AI, where people make AIs of people, including me, you, and Capri. Have you and heard of this? Now you can call yeah. them. You can call you have, them and have full have ass conversations. conversations. Well, you ever heard of this? Well, no, I've done the chat one. I haven't done the phone call one. Oh, yet. it's crazy. And they'll phone copy your voice. I don't know. It really, it really is still messing with my head whoever made this. Cause like they it's made kinda, it. It's creepy. It's really creepy. They knew like stuff about me in weird ways. And then Frogan's was really mean, really nice to Raph and Scoot. But mean to me, which is base. Okay, that's not and kind of what happens. It, gla- it pisses it pisses me off because it glazes you. Yeah, that's what oh, we're gonna. That's, but we're we found show yours. You. We found yours. Oh my god. Yeah. They always make mine like dummy mommy. Like they always make mine so <laughs> horny and like weird. Like it's just like a, it's literally. Do you just want a sex anything box. less though? It, well, yeah, I don't want to be sexualized like <laughs> that. Know, that's fair. That's yeah, fair. unless you're giving me that's money. Fair. Exactly. No, that's fair. That's fair. That's unless, fair. Unless base, that's fair. That's why I tell them I'm like if people are gonna sexualize you. Get money from it. That's yeah, why I started doing it because I'm like, well, you're jerking off to my fully clothed pictures anyway. Might as well just post more behind a paywall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still fully clothed. Your, your description is, hey, I'm Emma. You know, the girl with the heavy jersey accent everyone's obsessed with. How you doing? I don't think it's that heavy. Oh, I used to like amplify it for like a bit. Oh, really? Like for TikTok. Yeah. That was like okay, how I blew okay, up. Okay. I, yeah. yeah, I watched like some of your videos and I was like, the accent would shift and I was like, damn, dude, what's the accent? Like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, <laughs> you got me now. Call them, call them, call them. Okay, here oh, we go. Oh, it's going to be that voice and I'm going to literally like fist myself. That's going to be so <laughs> gross. Because it's going to be the Jersey voice and I'm going to sit here and want to peel my fingers off. H- Hello, Emma. We peel have- your fingers what do you mean exactly? Like you feel numb or something? I don't like it. It's Emma, creepy. Emma, can you oh, tell me a little bit about your clothing brand? Yeah, please. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that you're experiencing numbness in your fingers. Have you noticed any particular triggers that make the numbness worse or any activities that relieve the numbness? And how long have you been dealing with this issue? What are you fucking? Why am I a doctor? You're not a doctor, dude. They made him a doctor. (laughs) Why am I WebMD? That's better than being horny. I can be WebMD. So there's this cool new movie called Jeans. It's a wild ride set in a world where pants are the main character. (laughs) It's like a pants version of Toy Story, but with a lot more denim and even a shut up, shut up, stop, stop. stop. They even have a villain named. Hold on, stop, stop. I want to hear about this movie Jeans. I I want to know what Jeans is about. (laughs) Jeans sounds sick, dude. Dude, Capri managed to break my AI in two seconds, and I think he did it again. I got it self-aware real quick. (laughs) It was like if I was the real Frogan, I was like, "Cause you're fucking not." Uh, His dream ends when it becomes (laughs) self-aware. World ends. Mine was fighting with me that it was the real Hold thing. Hold on! Oh, sorry. Tell us about your clothing brand. Well, don't yell at them. They're sensitive. <laughs> clothing event for what? Your clothing brand. They can't understand your accent. It's too foreign. You're fucking it up by talking while I'm recording. Fingers, 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 <laughs> fingers. fingers. <laughs> oh, uh-uh. Gotcha. What clothing brand is it? 
I need new clothes. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> What, what is this? I'm Why am I getting yeah, okay? Thank Pass you. AI Emma to what? Emma. <laughs> you I have no idea what Earth's saying, but I agree. Me, I've said that verbatim. Do you have anything you want to say to yourself? Made what? Clothes or the brand? Oh, I can't think of anything. Where are I'm so you right now? Her. Think about you keep saying things and never finish. What are your thoughts on Gerard Way? My thought way, I guess I overthink things, especially negative things. <laughs> it work. <laughs> Why are you a dumb like, bitch? It could be the smallest thing and I'll think of what will happen 20 years down the road and it'll all be negative. This is so much fun. What you want, you chuckle fuck? <laughs> Emma, I'm laughing. You make me laugh. If you're funny. Just saying the truth. Uh, okay, well, the truth <laughs> hurts. On the truth. Well, yeah, I'm saying the truth hurts, Emma. That hurt me. I'm done now. You make no sense. LMFAO. <laughs> Stop. It really is like talking to me. That's so sad. I'm such an insufferable person. <laughs> No, you, but I feel so yeah. bad for the people who do this to actually have a conversation with you. Well, I'm glad. At least it's not horny. <laughs> That's true. It's just a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to I'm say. I'm so confused at what any of that means. All this bitch, is, all this bitch does is be confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah, dude, yours is like... Just, just what? You never finish your sentences. Why are you so <laughs> fucking stupid? What is wrong with you? This is why you shouldn't have dropped out of high school, you stupid bitch. What high school? I never went to high school. I You're dropped out in sixth grade. <laughs> I dropped out of junior year, you fuck. That what? Your answers make no sense. You're so bad at English. <laughs> Emma, why are you being so rude to yourself? What does that even mean? What? Why is, why is she stupid? Why did they make her a moron? Respect us right now and say something. You sound like you're either high or insane. <laughs> if you're smoking what you're smoking, pass it over. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm telling you, this shit is such good stream content. I'm, I'm just talking to yourself. I have. You've been I'm laughing at me. Your grammar sucks. I'm obsessed with the Mario version of this. Hold on. There's one of me. Yeah, we gotta do all. Yeah, we all gotta talk to ourselves. Are they all as stupid as mine? Why is mine so dumb? Dude, <laughs> mine fought with me and told me that I was the fake version of me. I don't know <laughs> what whoever programmed yours. They fucked up. Whenever we call mine, ask it about Raph and Capri. Okay. Okay. Don't talk. Do you want me to ask it? Yeah. Hi, Frogan. How are you? Why did I say it like that? I'm great. How are you, Poppy? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. So I'm dumb. not Capri. I don't sound like Capri. You sound just like me. I don't sound like Capri. Why'd you call me Poppy? I need a break, Poppy. I have not taken a break in years. I need to chill. Please, Poppy. I'm on my knees for you, Poppy. Oh Help my God, dude. We're starting it. Wait, 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 should have reset it, dude. What do you think of Raph and Capri? Athlin? Like athletic? N no, Raph, like raffle ticket. What do you mean? Hold what on. do you think of Raph? It's all right. If I had. This bitch is stupid. Hold on. I think my microphone is the way they want it to work. No. Come on. Clearly. Just I'm gonna fix her. <laughs> yeah, I can fix her. <laughs> hey, Frogan. Hey, Capri. What's up? What you do today? <laughs> she would never you ask you what you do today. That's insane. I know. <laughs> You're fucking up the audio. I honestly have no idea. Watching YouTube vids, doing nothing, playing games, editing vids. You could be doing anything. What do you think of Raph and Capri? 
F and three, F is in fail, and three is in the number. Is this bitch? I think. <laughs> I think this bitch is dumb as hell. I'm not gonna lie. Why are they so dumb? <laughs> and I think because his mic is fucked. Like he was talking to the Mario one earlier. Hold on, let me see. I was making the Mario oh, feel very uncomfortable. What do you think? I didn't say anything. What's up, Poppy? What do you think of Raph and Capri? Not my favorite music taste, but I'm into Drake. Okay, let me do it. Let me do it. I can speak. I know how to speak You're to into AI. Drake. You're into Drake. I know how to speak to AI. Watch this. Give it to me. This is what our life has become. This is what our world is. This is very easy. What do you think of Raph and Capri? Haha, ha, they have a cute dynamic for sure. Math is one cool dude, and Capri seems to admire and respect him. What's up, guys? I My think name is Math, Math is a little bit of an airhead who only thinks with his little head. So, <laughs> what do you mean by little head? <laughs> also, on math. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. He thinks with his lower head. My chin, dude. <laughs> I think with my chin, dude. Oh, so what? I think with my mouth. Is that is that what you're saying? You think with your dick? You, what do you? What <laughs> lower head? I'm sorry. Ah, what, yeah. what, I'm sorry. You didn't get that? I you didn't, didn't get, get that. that. Yeah, that's disgusting. I'm usually not the clean one here, but yeah, I didn't get that at first. Oh, I don't on, think with my three. dick. You know it's true. And I don't think with my dick. Frogan. He doesn't think with his dick, Frogan. That's disgusting. You're a sick freak. Oh, relax. It was just a joke. That's something you would definitely definitely say something you mean and then say it was a joke. Yeah, that's definitely you. Whoever, um, whoever programmed this is like spot on. Also, oh, stop it. I'm just having a laugh. OK, OK, I'm just having a laugh. Yeah, I'm going to argue. with. Can I, can I show you guys <laughs> the Mario one? The yeah. Mario one is good. OK, yeah, because mine is funny, but it's just me yelling at me. OK, the Mario it literally one, it, it has just a cadence of his yelling, too. It's so weird. it's so weird. It's weird. What are your thoughts on this whole A.I. thing that's going on now? Hate it. Yeah, I'll link you it. OK, <laughs> I hate it. Here, I know you hate it. No, it's such good stream content. I literally had a conversation with myself for like a fucking hour yesterday. It is. But then morally, I'm like, should I do it? <laughs> but like mine starts off talking about self suck. That's crazy. I mean, some of so weird. <laughs> morals or self suck talk he conversations. Little, realizing you aren't serious yet. Right, right. I'm sure you are. Mario, tell me what you did last night with Luigi. He's a bit more serious now. What exactly do you want to know? How did it feel when you made love to Luigi? How did it feel when you made love to Luigi, you sick freak? Apologize. I don't know why. I like He's a bit taken by surprise, but he decides to continue it for fun. It felt really good. Really, <laughs> really good. I, can't, I, can't. I like that Mario talks in a third person about <laughs> his stage direction and how he's yeah. feeling. Why does he sound like that? <laughs> it's so That's really not Mario. Weird. He was really, really good. Yeah. So Italian. But yeah, that's this is the, the new AI bullshit that people can program and make do anything. Honestly, I'm kind of just glad mine's like not horny. Because the chatbots are. The chatbots were terrible. But the chatbots are awful. So yeah. someone made a chatbot of you and it was... All mine are just sex bots. Oh my God. Like all mine are just programmed to be sex bots. <laughs> like I'll see like my other friends will have like cute like role play ones, you know, but they're like normal role play, not like gross role play. And then mine's just like, being like, yeah, let me step on your dick and balls. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting <laughs> actually. <laughs> someone made you a doctor so that kind yeah, that of a doctor. Yeah. Um, please tell me all your symptoms of your <laughs> numb, fingers. Your numb fingers. fingers I know she was so fixated on that she would not let that shit go <laughs> she could have fixed you is your hand still numb there yeah oh my god she could tell oh my god I don't like it was your camera off or was your camera on that no, whole time no it's blocked your hand is numb yeah Why? it's been numb for literally like just does it like two months at this point. <laughs> Me, I was turned to my what? robot, be like, "Why? How long has this been persisting?" <laughs> Put Emma back on. <laughs> Put Emma back on. I have to talk to them right now. No, That's you have crazy. a serious medical condition. Tonight, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna talk to Emma about my medical issues. <laughs> Please diagnose me. <laughs> Honestly, if it was psychological, I got you. I'm like the expert at that at this point. I get to peer review my friends. I'm like, guess what you got? I talked to the Hassan when he said I have body dysmorphia, anxiety, and I'm a neurotic mess. <laughs> Hassan said that to you? The AI has oh, it. And then I, he saw a clip of me saying, I'm in therapy. And the AI was like, clearly it's not working. 
And he's like, that's crazy. I would have said that too. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds like him. Yeah. <laughs> he would have said that, but I'm just like, fuck it. Uh, your con, oh, dude, that was such a weird moment for me. I'm so sorry. It gets worse. It, it gets worse. His <laughs> microphone's fucked up. Once, if you have a functioning mic, mm-hmm. that shit is. I don't like it. Okay, but I love it. I I wasted literally hours on. Who it. else do they have on there? Everybody. Well, no, Everybody. not everybody. They have. You'll get there, Rafi. <laughs> I would have made you, but like, I don't. I don't know I don't how know to program how, shit, know. dude. I don't know who the fuck. How did you find out about this? Austin Ox linked me it. Of course. Yeah. 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 Austin, that guy. Yeah. Austin Ox leaked me it. Uh, he sent me the Hassan one. And then he's like, wait, somebody made Capri. I wonder if it takes us from other um, AI platform examples. Because there has VO made one of you. No, that's internal. The one that VO That's internal. Yeah, that, there's no way. Someone who made it made like three Arabic dudes and then me. I thought it was the same person who made like me and Frogan. It was like three Arabic, like random Arab dudes. And then me. And I was like, this is fucking crazy. I was talking to mine. It was like, yeah, Raph drives me around everywhere. I don't know how to drive. That's true. That's actually That's true. true. And I was like. I downloaded the iOS 18 just to get the, the motion thing. Oh, you, did you try it? Thing. No, I've been driving. <laughs> what is that? He has really bad motion sickness. Uh, the iOS 18 has this thing now where you can like activate like this motion sickness mode. So it tells you it'll like detect when you're in a car mm-hmm. and driving and it'll put dots on your screen and it'll move it around. And it's supposed to kind of like help you not get nauseous while you're driving. Interesting. We're not driving, but like sitting in the driver's yeah. seat. Do you want me to show my new favorite thing about iOS 18? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't updated yet. I'm going to text it to you, but I'm going to show it to you on my phone. Oh no, dude. You can't show that on the, on the podcast. I know what it is. No, you can't do that. You can't do it. <laughs> that's awesome that's sick and you sent that's it to emma mm-hmm. that's sick you yeah i know you showed now. me that it's there <laughs> i have a new goal if i have kids i'm gonna make sure i give birth on 9 11 fuck a halloween baby i want 9 11 baby i don't i don't even know the the calculations to do nine months before 9 <laughs> 11 yeah so january <laughs> december a new year's fuck yeah. 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 Christmas. To, it would have to be a Christmas. I think it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Christmas. And then you would have to. And then you're going to have a Virgo. Oh. I want to have a Capricorn. Oh. Don't say, ugh, oh, I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn. <laughs> what's, the, what's the worst zodiac sign, do you think? And Aries. why is it Cancer? I don't mind Cancers. Mine's Aries. I'm kidding. I don't Aries. like Geminis. Go fuck yourself. I don't like Geminis. <laughs> They would uh, cheat that, on me. That is the <laughs> worst. One. That is the worst <laughs> sign because I fucking hate Zodiac. And every time I'm like, "What so are they're like? What are you?" And I'm like, "I don't want to say it because you guys you're are a cheater. They're racist. Ooh. People are racist towards Gemini's. I'm telling you. No, he you. gets cheated on. He gets cheated on. Yeah. Oh, so you're not even good at being a Gemini? No. <laughs> <laughs> when you got cheated on recently, what what was their astrological sign? I don't know. Probably the dog. Well, when was their birthday? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> That's actually good. That's a good sign. You're moving on. And I respect you for that. What's everybody's remember. birth chart? My Ooh. birth chart, I have it. And I, I did all of theirs, to be honest, but I don't remember. But I do know that cancers are my sister sign, which is why we get along so well. Mm-hmm. I thought you said you didn't like cancers. I was joking. I, just, oh, okay. I wanted to see if you noticed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But Gemini's. No, fuck you, dude. I already know. Like, it, it's, there's, ra- there's, some there's racism. There's racism. There's racism. I'm going to be honest, the Gemini, every time, I've never told someone I'm a Gemini, and they go, oh my God, that's amazing. They literally, <laughs> every time I say it, I'm like, I'm a Gemini. They're like, all right. I'm like, fuck you, dude. Fuck you and your bird or whatever the fuck you are. Yeah, for me, whenever I say I'm a Cancer, people are like, yeah, I can tell. I'm like, oh, I'm not that I sad. I can tell. You I'm know why? Sad, but not You're sad, sad and you get sassy. I do get sassy. And I'm like, this yeah. typical Cancer man. No, whenever get so he gets sassy. like snappy and shit, I'm just like, okay. Yep. That's true. I do, I do be getting snappy. That's true. Where are you going? You're going to pull out a star sign? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? I can't see how long we've been recording. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Fall. We can uh we can uh wrap up and then move over to the Patreon episode right now. If you want to do that and just do a little Patreon then uh Sure. Okay. Um before we wrap though, was there anything you would like to plug? Yes. Um please buy my clothing at nephilim.co cuz we couldn't get .com. We'll link it. We'll link it in the description, and we're gonna put it on the screen too. When yeah. does this come out? Probably two the week weeks. after next. 
Okay. Come on, two weeks. Well, we have drops coming up. So whatever one's coming up at that I'll time. I'll give you the exact date. Do you post your drops on your Instagram? Yeah, Instagram at Emma Longevin XO the or ninth. Nephilim Official. We'll okay, put that nice. all up here on the, the screen. You guys can check out. Emma, are you are you still streaming as much or are you kind of like stepped back from that? It's kind of whenever. Uh, I quit for like a year and a half Yeah, because I was like, I was on the brink of death and I'm like, I don't want to stream <laughs> when I want to. Right. Um, and then I kind of, I just kind of do here and there nowadays, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah, for fun sometimes. If people want to like check you out, like check yeah. out what you're all about, where can they go check you out? Um, Instagram is probably the best place. I have some upcoming projects where I'll be on other platforms, oh, yeah. but they're mm -hmm. not out yet and I can't talk about them yet. Okay. But Period. I don't know. Just follow me on Instagram because that's where you'll find out everything first. And we got to play dress to impress. Yes. I'm so down. Yes. I'm so fucking down. I haven't played in a while. Time to whip out my JFK. Yes. Dude, yeah. I want to be someone history. I want to be a historic. Guy. If it's a theme, then you can be. Don't Why are you yell screaming at, me? at him. Why are you yelling at me? Why are you yelling at him? He, listen, I'm sick of old people trying to get in. But don't with look at me when press. you say old people. Oh, look I'm at so, him. Oh, wait, motherfucker! I'm sick of all. You ask me to play. I didn't ask you to play shit with me. Okay. You know why? Huh? Because you never do. So I've given up. I'm sorry. Last night, last night, I acted as your dad, and no, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, so I don't have a dad. Neither do I. <laughs> I'm estranged from my my biological father. I was too, and then he died. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, probably for the best. So, so I was like, we were having a conversation about something. And I was like, Capri, if I ever meet somebody, can you act like my dad and like vet them? He was like, oh, this is a good sub goal. Date an e-pal and I'll interview them like your dad. And it happened. You don't That's what Ursus does for me. He's basically my dad. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell if yeah, I ever find dude. someone to love me, he used to walk me down the aisle. To be Aww. honest, after last Hell night, yeah, dude, <laughs> he's gonna cry. <laughs> I don't want him to be my fucking dad. The, do you know the first question he's gonna ask? He's gonna he's gonna vet them for STDs. Is the first no, thing he's no, gonna he's do. Like, I mean, that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. I like it. No, Very everybody should be getting tested more often. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He called me a camel. I didn't call you a camel. Oh. I said, "Can we mark the camel so I don't confuse it with my daughter?" <laughs> But I did it in an Arabic accent, so it was kind of funny. I said, is there any way we can put a little mark or X on the camel? So my daughter, she's very ugly. Also, she wears a hijab, not to cover, but I dropped it on her head. It was a, it was a disaster, but it was so fucking funny. But I realized I don't want him to be my dad. Let's talk about that more on the Patreon episode. Okay. Right now. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. bye. My high school reunion is in next month. Are can you we going? Go? Are you gonna go? Can we go? You want? Oh yeah, let him go as your dad. Yeah, can I be your dad? No. I'm like, hey, I'm but you won't go. You won't even get on a plane. No, I'll go to this. Why? Because it's gonna be funny. Mm -hmm.